Chris Ridley, I'm the head of paid media at Evoluted, and I love everything digital marketing and data analysis. Everything? Uh, yeah, yeah, everything. I love it, yeah. I, must, I've dabbled in everything, yeah. There must be a part of it where you're like, mm, I'm not that bothered about that. I haven't done much on audio marketing, but that's why I'm here, I'm really interested. Excellent, this is good yeah. stuff, this is good stuff. Um, tell us a little bit more about what your role involves then. Yeah, so I've been at Evoluted for three years. I've worked my way up from the bottom. Now we're here and I do everything. I've, I help with new client onboarding. I help with the strategy of existing clients. I even still jump in on a few of the favorite clients, really. So it's, I just love it. The, the challenge, the problem solving, the training, the team. I've got an amazing team around me and the whole wider Evoluted team, but also the paid media team that I've built with Georgia and Sam. It's been absolutely amazing. We, we, I, I should also declare a, a bias on this one because I do some work with you guys. I, uh, you know, I've been in and out of the office quite a bit. I love working with um, Evoluted. I think you're a fantastic, really lovely, just warm, very welcoming um, place. And it's great to be um, to be around. Um, so your work, work, Sheffield DM today, you're talking later on. I am indeed. I'm on the paid media panel. What, what kind of pearls of wisdom have you got in store? Well, I plan to share some of my uh, biggest F-ups. Uh, I oh, plan really? to share with my biggest learnings from him as well, but also my opinion of what the future holds in paid media and uh, similar to what's already been discussed today already about uh, pairing paid media with organic and making sure they're actually communicating, working together, and you're getting the most for the business, for the client, rather than for your individual channel. What, what do you see as being the biggest challenge in, in your world right now? In my world right now, there's a real shift in in-house to agency or agency to in-house, both recruitment but also clients. Right. Uh, a lot of clients we've had are considered an in-house because they've had so much support that they're ready to, to go themselves, leave leave the nest in a way. Yep. Then you've got others who are at that journey where our existing clients are leaving now were three, four years ago where they now want an agency to help them because they don't have an internal team or their internal team can't cope with the growth they've had. And it's lovely kind of having that circle of life within digital marketing. That's the biggest challenge of letting go of the clients when they're ready to go so they can flourish, but then finding the perfect ones to bring under your wing and to help them grow as well. The circle of life within digital marketing is a beautiful phrase, and that is my main takeaway from today so far. I'm going to try and use that wherever uh, I can do. That's amazing. Uh, right, are you ready to delve into the uh, the bag of destiny? Uh, and uh, there are 11 balls in there, numbered 1 to 10, which corresponds to a question. There is also ball 69. We still don't know what happens when someone draws out ball 69 because it's not happened yet. So uh, whenever you're ready, yeah, and uh, we'll see what your killer marketing question is going to be. We're at that stage where we might start getting kind of repeat numbers now. Eight. This is a good question, actually. So what do you think is the next big thing in marketing? I think the next big thing thing in marketing will be how people use real life live data with what they're doing at the moment and what I mean by that is there's a lot of talks about people using uh, weather data to influence the ads they're shown real time there's holiday places I believe it was visit Egypt or visit Turkey they run one in the UK where the ads, uh, programmatic advertising uh, out of home, would actually say, oh, it's raining in London, but it's 26 degrees and sunny in Kos. And they did this all based on live data that was getting fed straight in, and they would then determine which ad was being shown dynamically based on the weather in London and the weather in the holiday destination. And I think stuff like that is amazing. That's clever, yeah. That's a good point. I always remember, and I think it still happens, but the first time that I ever saw, you know, like the betting companies who have ads on like at half time during the football and it'll be like yeah. Ronaldo to score next and it's got the odds there. And like, I, I mean, you know, 10 years ago, that was really clever. It's a little bit old hat now, but um, stuff like that that is just more right, kind of real time rather than being like a snapshot in the past is, is, is really interesting. Good answer. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing your pearls of wisdom. Looking forward to seeing you on the panel later on um, and enjoy the rest of your day. I will do. Thank you. I've got a two and a half hour train journey ahead of me, so I'm going to make sure I get as much networking and socialising as I can. Yeah. Good on you. Good on you. Right. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thanks, James. Thanks, James.